when it's down.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's presentation by WBLN Live. I'm your host, Ricardo Blanco, and I'm sitting here today with Ryan Bertrand, who is still out, unfortunately, due to his unfortunate suspension. Ryan, what are you expecting for today's matchup? I'm expecting a, a lot of energy from the boys today, and hopefully we get the bats going and get out of this uh, little losing streak we got going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Wolverines are suffering a five-game losing streak, but today we're facing against the Braddock Bulldogs. This is going to be a pretty exciting game. It's a good game to get back into the group, and what better man to do it other than our ace, Esteban Rodriguez. And there's a strike from Esteban right there. Yeah, 0-1 count. Hard hood ball. But caught by Nick Alonso for out number one of the day. Esteban Rodriguez... No fun fact, he is number two in the state in strikeouts with 45. Really excited to see how he's able to, to keep that going. Ryan, we were talking before the game how how these guys are very loud. What do you think the, the guys here on swing the team? Swing there, big swing. So you see a swing and a miss there. How do you think uh, the Balenci is going to have to react to these very loud guys from the Braddock, Braddock dugout? Just going to have to fire back without getting uh, too bush league. We've known that these guys, they get a little rowdy and they're pretty bush league, so we just got to keep our composure and play through it. As we see a strike number two there for Sam Rodriguez, who's now on top of the batter with an 0-2 count. Try to get in the chase there, a little too high. And the pitch. Easy play for Dorian. Yeah, routine ah. play that just overthrows the throw. And the runner's going to be safe at first base. Seems like Dorian didn't quite get his feet set there. Yeah. Might not have gotten a good grip on the ball there. Yeah. Right sets up an easy double play here for the Wolverines. Let's see if we get something done. Yeah, the Wolverines. Ideally, they want to get a ground ball here straight to Dorian for the routine double play. Good strike there by Dorian. He's throwing a lot of strikes today. I'm glad to see that. That's something that the, that the pitchers have been struggling the past two games, throwing the ball in the strike zone, but not a step on today so far. Three strikes on the day. Another strike, and I think the, the, the key for us today is going to be those first pitch strikes. Gets us ahead in the count right off the bat, and I think that's huge for the pitchers. Gives us a lot of confidence and more time to work the count and work on those batters. Absolutely. We've been mentioning all season. It's been the key for all the pitchers, from Andy Bayo to Esteban to Francis. All the pitchers, um, whenever they're able to get that first pitch strike, they get some confidence for the rest of the game and the rest of the at-bats. So one, two, Pitch coming in here with one out on the board. And they Little see. flare to right field. Ryan Cainso make a good play on it. Great catch by Ryan Cainso getting to the ball on time. That looked like that could have fallen for a, for a base hit, but he gets it on time to make the catch and leave the runner stranded at first base. So the two outs, we're going to see a third baseman come up to bat for the Braddock Bulldogs. Another first pitch strike by Esteban, foul back. So that's going to be fouled off for strike number one. Oh, one count here. Oh and look like made the play. Oh. That, that looked like he was out 
it, it looked like he was out at first base. Looked like even though Jack didn't quite catch the ball, it looked like Esteban was able to get there on time to make the play, but the umpire is going to call it safe. It actually looked like Esteban hit the bag there twice. I'm not really sure what the umpire was thinking. Um, he says something, he's making the, the motion of a bobble, but Esteban had that ball in the glove the whole time. Yeah, we see a tough call there made by the umpires. Especially tough considering we have three three umpires here today. You ask me, it feels like one of them could have made that call. Yeah, we definitely have to pick it up here. Two errors in the first inning already. They definitely shouldn't have got on. Jack here with his first game at first in a while. Still getting used to it, but I think he'll be all right. So we see a... Uh, First pitch ball there, 1 0 count. So, in good position there to make the play by yeah. Fielder's Choice, and Dorian makes the throw, and we're going to get out of there, leaving the runner stranded on the bases. Braddock won't get a chance to sco score here, and we're going to see a top of the lineup, which is going to start off with Andy Gutierrez coming up to the plate first. Then we're going to have Lou Degotti coming in at second, the third baseman, the UF commit. And he's going to be followed by Gio Cueto, who's been absolutely great in the past few games. He hit the first home run of the regular season the other day against Coral Reef. And I'm very excited to see how the Belen Wolverines do up to the bat this time. Lou Degotti coming back from a three-hit game last game. He and went three for three. Yep, and Gio Cueto, the, the game prior, actually went three for four. So they're both hot. Andy always finds a way on. He's he's always hot. And yeah, uh, Andy leading the team in, in batting average, in stolen bases, and in runs. Andy doing it all, both fielding and, and batting, really leading the – solidifying his spot as the leadoff batter. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how he does here today. We'll Actually, see you guys after a break. So Andy Gutierrez coming up to the plate for John Bottom right now. And Ryan Matran was telling me about this pitcher. He's faced him before. So Ryan, why don't you tell people at home a little bit about this pitcher? Yeah, so my experience against him in the summer, he, he likes to get a little creative. Likes to throw a lot of junk, tries to get you to chase. Um, doesn't like to throw his, his fastball in the middle. He doesn't like to throw his fastball very often. Um, 
most of my teammates play with me this summer, so they know a lot about him. I think we should be okay for today. And he swings there, fouls it off for strike number one. Got a piece of it. Swing and a miss there for Andy. Strike two, one, two count here. Good eye there for Andy. Two, two count. Swing and a miss it for Andy. Strikeout number one of the day. And that's going to bring Lou DeGotti up to the plate. So we're talking about it. Lou DeGotti coming off a three for three game. Has a hot bat right now. It's going to be interesting to see how, how he does here today. Coming up for his first half bat of the game. Big swing there by DeGody, fouls it off, strike number one. A little high, Cody didn't like it. It's in though for number, strike number two. Gonna be strike on number two on the day. They're gonna strike the goatee out looking, and it's gonna bring Gio Cueto up to the play. The catcher, the Wake Forest commit, who also has a hot bat, a hot bat going. We'll see if he's able to turn this around for the Wolverines, keep this inning going despite the two outs on the board. I'm really liking this lineup here with uh, Dorian following Gio because. Although Dorian's bat is not as hot as uh, we, we think he, he is capable of. Hard hit ball there by Gio, gets by for a base hit. And he does just what we were talking about. He's able to get in there for base number hit, base hit number one of the day. And it's gonna bring Dorian out to, to the plate. We were talking about his hot bat. He hasn't been doing as hot as we expect him to. But it's still a great bat, still capable of bringing runs in, still capable of bringing guys to other bases. It's gonna, and it keeps the strength of the lineup pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. When you have, when you're able to have four solid guys at the very top of it. No, and especially Dorian, who has so much power, hits the ball so hard. He, a lot of his hits are, you know, doubles and in, in the gaps, and I think. It's really important when you have someone like Gio to go to in front of him to drive those, those batters in. Another hard hit ball. But it falls into the hands of the shortstop and it's gonna leave Gio Cueto stranded in the bases. Excuse me, uh, Caco Iglesias was pinch running for Gio Cueto. And we're gonna see now the return of Stemma Rodriguez who got three quick outs there and got out of the top of that inning pretty quickly, except for the mishap on first base. And we'll see you guys after a break.
Hey guys, we're, we're back here with another inning of baseball. Stay on with the first pitch strike. Just missed the strike in there for the second pitch. Another good pitch there, fouled off. Step on the head in the count, one ball, two strikes. Yeah, Stevan gets him swinging a good pitch there, but he's going to foul it off for strike number two. Still gets him so he wanted. 2-2 two -two count here. Ground ball to the goatee. Makes it look easy there for out number one. Yeah, the goatee always making it look easy at third base. Able to make that throw with ease for out number one of the year. Right, We're here in the top of the second, and you're just joining us now. We had two scoreless innings with two men getting on base for each team. Excuse me, one for Belen, two for Braddock. With two strikeouts on the Braddock side. We we'll see if Esteban's able to keep his strikeouts here. Catches some swinging, big swing there. One one count once across the board. Ryan, you play with him. Talk a little bit about what, what makes Stevan so dominant for this team as that ball's line drive into center field. That's gonna be good for a double. Andy did a good job of there getting that ball in quick. If it was a speedier runner. Could have had a chance for a triple, but he got that ball in quick and gave him no, absolutely no chance. Um, so back to your question, when Stamon's on the mound, I'm on, honestly as, an, as as a field position player, I have so much confidence because I know he's in those strikes. I know that if they're gonna get hits, they're gonna have to really, you know, take advantage of him because like he's he's really working the strike zone. He has such high command of his pitches. You know, it, it's tough to hit this guy. So, ball number one there, 1 0 count. The man on second. Right. That is not able to get on top of the ball. There's going to be fouled off for a 1 1 count. Stephen looks amazing on the mound right now. Yeah, he looks composed. That's what you want to see from your pitcher. Oh, beautiful pitch there. We're going to see a strike there. One, two count. Stevan dominating thus far. Lying a few hits, but really having control of the at bats. Well, that was the first hit of the game. True hit. Other two hits came on errors. Hard hit ball to right field. Ryan Cainitos makes an amazing catch. The second baseman is going to get to 30. That was a catch. They're gonna say that hit the wall, but that was a. Not sure what's going on here. Um, this really doesn't mean, seem to make very much sense to me because if you make no. a catch, the second ba the second base runner is not allowed to run. Nope, he did not tag up. Nonetheless, we got two outs here, and Esteban is doing a phenomenal job, and he's gonna keep working and get this third out of the inning. Very confident in, him, in his abilities right now. That was a phenomenal catch by Ryan. Great read, had to jump and catch it against the fence. Beautiful catch. Somehow this uh, runner got to third base on some sort of brujeria. I'm not really sure what's going on here. But we're gonna allow it, knowing that there's two outs on the board. Confident Stellan's gonna be able to get this nice. out here. One one count.
Another strike there by Esteban, one, two count. Got two outs. Yeah, Esteban doing a great job right now. It's a little bit of a scary moment there, but we talk about it a lot with that short backstop we have doesn't usually allow runners to score in from third base, especially not this runner. Doesn't seem to have a lot of speed. On yeah, him. we got a slow runner on third base, which makes it a little bit easier for Esteban to throw those breaking balls in the dirt. And he's confident with the fact that Gio will be able to block those balls. So the batter doing a good job, a good job right, right now, protecting the plate, making sure he doesn't take a strike in. Two's across the board. Another foul ball here. Going to be a pretty, pretty long at bat. Love how Esteban's not wasting any time, wasting any pitches. He's going right after this batter, making him work, making him foul off those balls. He looks amazing on the mound right now. Ground ball to lead the goatee. He's, He's gonna get the out on the fielder's choice. The run one score, and it's another scoreless inning here for the Wolverines. As we head up to the plate where we're gonna have the rest of the lineup go in. We're gonna have Nick Alonso coming up to the plate now, followed by Andrew Lemosaris and Esteban Rodriguez hitting from the mound. Nick Alonzo up to the plate now. Misses outside for ball number one. There's a strike number one there, one one count. Right there, looks like a little bit of a breaking ball. Yeah, we have a 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, two. Two count here. Nick Alonso did a good job last time out hitting. See if he's able to do the same here. Got That's a few low. base hits. 2-2 two, two count, he's working. As you can see here, this pitcher is pr in pretty good command, not missing by much. So Already Nick Alonso, Nick. Oh. oh, great catch by the second baseman there. Makes a diving catch, not allowing the base hit. You can't really get mad at that. Nick made a great contact with the ball there, which is a great catch by the second baseman. We're hitting the ball hard, and as long as we continue to do it, I think things are going to work out for us. 
Yeah, we're playing great so far. Um, Angela Massar is a designated hitter coming up to a play now. He's hitting for our second baseman, Sparky Carvajalis. This is outside there for ball number one. So now we have Andrew Lemasaris up in the plate. Hard ground ball right to the shortstop. Yeah, Andrew Lemasaris just doesn't quite find the gap there. Yeah, Stephen Rodriguez yeah. coming up to the mound now. Stephen, who's been. Um, to the plate, to the plate. Yeah, up to the, to the plate. Stephen, who has spent some time designated hitting this season. He's done a great job on the hitting side, too. Really a well rounded player. This man does not strike out very often. He loves to put the ball in play. And he's got a pretty good speed behind him, so for most of the time it works out pretty well. Another strike there. Yeah, he's gonna take another strike there for a no two count with two outs on the board. Step on five falls behind, but I'm pretty confident that he's gonna protect the plate and try to do something here. Stir up this inning. He's gonna hit that one baseman. hard, but it's gonna fall into the hands of the second baseman, like you mentioned, and he's gonna make the throw to the first baseman for round number three. So quick three and now for the Wolverines. And we're gonna see a return of Estelle Rodriguez up in the mound again. See you guys after a break. Now batting the leadoff for Braddock. He lined out to the left his last at bat. So we're gonna see another strike there. Oh one come. Yeah, like we mentioned early on. Uh, just a great job by Esteban on staying on top of the account here. Oh, that foul ball hit right towards our side. Esteban gets ahead in the count there. One ball, two strikes. So one, two count here at the top of the third. Breaking ball in the dirt for ball number two. Misses high there for 
to uh, make the count four. And the payoff pitch, Stevon. That ball popped up high for a routine pop fly that Lou DeGotti will make the catch for. Out number one in the inning, top of the third. As you see another batter come up to play here. This is the second baseman. He reached his last at bat on a ground ball to Doreen that ended up being a throwing error. Yeah, we'll see how he does here. Missing high for ball number one. Stevon seems to be on his groove right now. Good pitch. Good pitch there. 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, like I mentioned, Stevon really feeling himself right now on the mound. Nothing seems to face him. Oof, another good pitch there. Just missed the strike zone. Ball number two. 2-1 count here. Oh, Ooh, swing and a miss. Catches him swinging to shut up the opposing dugout. 2-2 Dis count. Disgusting off speed there by Esteban. Tries to do it again. A little too low. 3-2 count here. Yeah, uh, you play baseball, you know the best way to, to and the shut payoff. up, shut up the opposing team is to do just that. Paid off in the field with a strikeout for Esteban Rodriguez. Catches yeah. him swinging with the off-speed pitch. Beautiful pitch. Starts right down the middle and breaks out of the strike zone. Love to see that from Esteban. Got two outs in the inning now. With the third batter coming up. Ball high and inside. Oh, one count. Beautiful pitch. One, one now. Tries to get him on the breaking ball. Really good pitch there. Two, one. With two outs on the board. Clear to left center. Nick Alonso able to make the pet catch. Beautiful inning there by Esteban. No runners beach, reach base. Got a strike out there. This is a great job at that inning on getting the quick three. And now another one where we'll have another chance uh, to get some runs in, hopefully, as we head to the plate in the bottom of the third.
Jack San Pedro up to the plate now. Starts off with a strike. Looks like it was on the outer half of the plate. Gets a good hit there. Hard hit ball to right field. Pretty deep. And right the fielder does not be able to. Catch. Jack has his speed. Let's see if he can get there. He's going to go for three. He's going to get the third standing up, it looks like. He's going to make the slide, and he's going to be there safely. A great momentum changer we hear from Jack. Screaming, let's go. Now the dugout's loud, and the Braddock dugout is quiet. Dead silent. That's just what we needed. The right fielder is not able to make the catch. And we're going to have Ryan Cainzos coming up to a plate now with no outs on the board and a man on third. As a, as a hitter, this is the best situation to hit in. You could do pretty much anything to score that run in. Hard hit ground ball up the middle, you know, fly ball to the outfield. It's, it's really, the possibilities are endless. Sorry, Johnny. Seems like somebody was flashing light in the stands. Yeah, great job by Jack there. And I don't know if you could hear our excitement through the through the mics. But he was Brown able ball. Scores a run. Beautiful job. Exactly what we needed. Sacrifice hit there. That's going to bring in Jackson Pedro for a run. He's going to get a standing ovation from his teammates. And we're going to bring the top of the lineup again with Andy Gutierrez up to the mound. I mean, the plate. It's exciting stuff here. Unfortunately for this, uh, this Braddock pitcher, we are putting very hard hit good wood on the ball. And it's just going to end up working out for us. So 1 0 game here. Jack really flew around those bases. Yeah, the dugout's now excited. Andy Gutierrez coming up to the plate. It all started with that, in that beautiful inning there by Esteban, putting three away. Coming into this inning with a lot of momentum. Love it. Let's keep it rolling. Hard hit ball by Andy. Having trouble out. seeing the ball at the right fielder. Oh, makes a really, really, really good catch. Tough catch to make. He does good at adjusting. Really hard hit ball by Andy. The right fielder is not going to make the same mistake he made already. But we still have Luke Gagotti coming up to the plate with two outs on the board. It's that time of day where it's very tough to see those fly balls. Unfortunately, we've suffered a couple balls dropping in the, in the previous games because of this. And um, hopefully we can shy away from that today. Yeah, it's that twilight, twilight time of the day that makes it so hard for the outfielders to make a catch. Strike one there. Inside pitch called a strike there. Let's see if Lou can do what he did last time, get the ball and play and get on, get on base. No, me. sir. That's going to miss a low. Looked like a, a change up in the dirt Great for a 1-1 one, one count. Last time. Good job by Lou there, staying disciplined, laying off that pitch. 1-1 one, one count. This is another one of those guys that uh, when, when he comes up to the plate, I have a lot of confidence in that dugout that he's going to get on base. Hard hit ball to right field. That's going to go. That's going to be. Might be an extra base hit. Nope. Losing the stop at first. But we got just what we wanted a base hit to keep the inning going, bringing Gio Cueto up to the plate with two outs on the board. He got a hit last time, but this time he has a runner on base. Lou helping himself out there and staying hot. Love to see it. Now we got another hot, flaming hitter here, Giovanni Cueto. He 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but he cannot get a base hit. It's either a double, a triple, or a home run. The guy is on fire. Yeah, has a fiery bat right now, and then he's excited in this situation. Swings through that one. Big swing there and a miss for a no one count with two outs on the board. That was a really pretty swing there on the breaking pitch by Colunga, the pitcher. Nope. Breaking ball in the dirt. Giovanni does a good job of laying off. Yeah, he knows better than that. Very disciplined batter at the plate. Has a good eye being a catcher himself, so we can recognize the pitch coming out of the pitcher's hands. One more we'll count. See how he does here. Swings to another pitch there. Fouled back. One two count. Yeah. It, it's one of those ones where you can just tell if Gio can make contact here, that ball is gonna be fired out of the bat. Yep. Lou staying close at first base. We haven't seen the pitchers move yet. Not really sure if it's, if it's gonna be any good or not. Steps off there. Little miscommunication from the pitcher and the catcher. Yeah, you can tell he's a little bit anxious there on the mound after getting Once again. the triple on the base hit. He does not seem as confident as a stable on does on the mound. Ball misses outside, you saw it right there. Two two count here. to that, another breaking pitch. He's gonna retire the side. So swing and a miss, that'll leave Lou Degotti stranded on base, but not before the Wolverines scored a run on that Jackson Pedro triple, and then Green brought in by the sacrifice hit that Ryan Caimso's awesome. got a piece off. So we'll see you guys on. right back with the San Rodriguez staying in the mound. Back here at the top of the fourth inning. Stevon starts off with a strike fouled back by the Braddock hitter. Another big swing there fouled off to the left side of the field. Ludigori not able to get there, a little too low. Step up to head and count now. 0 oh, 2. Fouled off again by the Braddock hitter.
first ball here. A little high. One, two count now. This Braddock dugout is really annoying today. Yeah, we were talking about it last game with Juan Chief. And a strike out there by Esteban. Gets him on the breaking ball. Beautiful pitch for out number one. And strike out number two on the day. That will be his second victim. Esteban commanded that at bat. He made that kid look like a fool. Now we got the catcher for Braddock hitting here. Looked like a changeup in the dirt there. For ball number one. High fly ball to the left side of the field. Out of play, unfortunately. That'll be the first strike out of that bat. 1-1 one, one count here. So like we mentioned before, uh, San Rodriguez, number four in the stadium, strikeouts to 45. His outing today is going to put him right at 47. Great pitch there on the outside corner by Esteban for strike number two. One, two count here. So I'm having a great day today. You no, know, solidifying himself as this team's curveball misses low. Look at the count, two, two. So two, two count here. Another curveball that missed in the dirt. He's going to make the count full. And the payoff. Fouled back. Yeah, better doing a good job of protecting the plate. We'll see how it's dug on that chest here. This batter team hasn't quite gotten a grip of a step on yet. Just misses high. Really not a big miss there. It's all right. And that'll be the first batter that a step on walks of the game. We'll have a man on first with one out. Gives the Wolverines a chance to turn a double play here. Sorry about that. We've been having a, a scoreboard malfunction here on on the stream, so we'll we'll try to keep you guys updated. So again, there's going to be one out, and it is a 1-0 game. Belen Wolverines are winning. Just missed outside there. Good pitch there by Esteban. Breaking ball that lands in the strike zone for strike number one. One's across the board. Another strike there for Esteban, one, two count. We got one out with a 1-0 game, runner on first. Good pitch on the inside corner. Doesn't quite cross the plate, so that's a 2-2 count. So yeah, 2-2 two, two count with one out on the board. And Great pitch third. for strike number three. Esteban is doing a phenomenal job of keeping those balls in the strike zone. That guy was absolutely frozen. Didn't look like he wanted to swing the bat at all. That's going to be victim number three on the day, putting him at 48 strikeouts on the season on this 1-0 game. 
with a man on first and two outs on the board as we see the first baseman coming up to the plate. He had a good hit his last time out. Yeah, he doubled to left center his last at bat. As you see another first pitch strike here. So I'm getting on top of the bat quickly. Looked like a change up on the outer half of the plate. He is in command. So I'm one of those pitchers that seems to get better as the game goes on. 100%. Soft line drive to right field is going to fall for a base hit. Looked like the batter got jammed, but was enough to get through for a hit. Unfortunate, but Esteban is going to... I got confidence that Esteban's going to work his way out of this inning. Yeah, he's doing a great job this far. I, why, why wouldn't you have confidence that he's doing a great job? So you have a man on first and second. So a man first on second and two outs on the board of this 1-0 game. We're going to see another first big strike from Esteban here. Again, staying on top of the count. Um, Ryan, you know, uh, Esteban has seen uh, the, this whole lineup and then some. Do you think that uh, we'll see Gio switch the sequence here a little bit? I think, I think that will definitely happen. Gio sees a lot of tendencies, whether they're pulling their head out, trying to pull the ball, or lunging for the ball. Um, those, those different types of keys are are, diff are definitely going to affect the way Gio calls the game. That pitch falls back for strike number two. This is the shortstop for the, for Braddock hitting here. One, two count. On the bottom half of the lineup. This so again, we got a win. Today that we have a man on first and second with two outs on the board. So again, we got a one-two count with two outs here. The Wolverines are leading with uh, one run across the board. Step on again, keeping his tempo. Hasn't thrown a lot of pitches yet. Ooh, he's gonna catch Big swing there in the dirt. Throw over to first is in time. And that's going to be the end of the inning. The Wolverines are going to get out of it, leaving two runners stranded on base. And we're going to see the Wolverines come back to a plate. This time we're going to see, I believe, Dorian Gonzalez coming back to the plate. Yes, sir. And he's going to be followed by Nick Alonso and Andrew Lemosaris. We'll see you guys after the break.
So we see pitch number one there for a ball. Dorn's gonna get a piece of that one for a 1-1 one -one count. Again, 1-0 one game here with no outs on the board. We're back to the middle of the lineup with Dorian Gonzalez, the number fourth hitter, the cleanup batter of this lineup. 1-1 one -one count here. We're going to be 1-0. As Dorian's gonna pop that one up. It's going to be a routine pop fly for the center fielder for out number one of the inning. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Gonna take a strike there for strike number one, 0 1 count. Seems to be some miscommunication between the catcher and the pitcher here. A little bit anti. to count here. Nick Alonso is going to strike out here for out number two of the inning. That's going to bring Andrew Lemosars, the designated hitter, hitting for Andrew Carvajales today, up to the plate. Andrew Lemosars got out on a fielder's choice his last time out. Struggled a little bit in the past few games, but has been hitting the ball hard lately. We'll see if he's able to get back into a groove here. He's gonna take a strike there. Oh, one count. Take strike number two there for no two count. Really got to protect the plate here. The pitcher has done a good job at adjusting here against the Wolverines after giving up a run in the third. Fouled off. It's going to hit the top of the new batting facilities. Four. Still no two count. Again, Andrew trying to protect the play here. Doesn't want to strike out. What in the world was that? The pitcher just threw the ball over the fence. I don't, I don't even know how that happens. I've never seen that in my life. That was insane. Ricky, look like you missed that one there. Kind of wish you saw it. That was crazy. I've never seen that in my life. Probably got a little bit angry there. But they're going to get a swing and a miss from Andrew. That's going to retire the batter for out number three. So quick three and a half for the Wolverines. Still a 1 0 game. And we're going to see the return of. Still Rodriguez up to the mound again. See if he's able to stay in this one. Has been doing great so far. We'll be right back.
Stab on misses low there for ball number one. One to open out. I want to highlight how well the officials have been doing today. Hasn't been the same for the other games, but they're doing pretty well today. Besides that one call at first base, which was a little bit of confusion. Um, yeah, the third base umpire and the home plate umpire are pretty young. We actually played with them in high school. And we know them pretty well, and they know the game pretty well, which is very important for an umpire. So, yeah, I, I do respect these guys, and I believe that they will do and will continue to do a, a good job. So, 2-1 count here. We got the last batter here up to the plate. That ball up and inside for ball number three. Three one count. This is the first time today we really see Estelan down in the count. Let's see how he reacts here. We're gonna see a strike here for a full count. The batter thought he had that, but that was pretty obvious for you and me. That was right down the middle. I don't know what he's thinking. He probably doesn't want to hit. So full count here. It's now in a dangerous position. He's gonna have to protect the plate here, making sure he's gonna take Pay a strike. Foul back. I'm liking what I'm seeing right now from the Wolverines. Right down the middle, doesn't see. He's not gonna get the call, folks. We hear groans from everybody in the stadium. That was right down the middle. I'm not sure where that missed. Right as we were giving them props, man. Might have spoke too soon there. Oh man. Oh man. So that'll be Esteban's first walk of the game. Second walk, second walk. Second walk of the game, excuse me. So we got a runner on first here with the top of the lineup. Uh, this kid has not done much today, so let's see if uh, Esteban will con continue to work. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't get to his head. He keeps throwing the way he's been doing the whole game. That was going to be fouled off for strike number one of the at bat. 1 1 count here. The batter, after fouling that off, taking a, a little stroll in the park there. Not sure what he was doing. I know the outfielders are pretty happy now that they are able to get out of that twilight zone. Batter seems to be crowding the play here. That change up misses outside. Got a 2 1 count. Good pitch. Top half of the strike zone there. Got a 2 2 count. The crowd didn't like it. Full of Braddock fans. Doesn't seem like they're uh, following code guidelines. Hopefully that's not a problem for us in the future. Those Braddock fans, man. Two-two count here. This is up. Three-two count. Right down the middle, stop back. So I'm doing a good job here. These batters are gonna have to work hard for their hits. And the payoff. Yes, sir. That's going to be strikeout number four in the day for Esteban. He's going to catch the batter looking. 
Nice breaking pitch that broke right into the zone. There was no doubt that, that was a strike. Beautiful pitch there by Esteban Rodriguez. For out number one of the inning, we're here in the top of the fifth. Got a runner on first base with one out and the second batter up to the plate. He as well has not done much in the day. Then again, their whole lineup hasn't done very much. So let's see if Esteban can continue being effective. Another strike there by Esteban. Oh, one Blew count. it by him. That pitch like absolute cheddar, as Salchicha says. Yeah, he's bringing the cheese out today. Breaking pitch misses low. 1-1 one, one count. Another strike there by Esteban. Beautiful pitch. Right on the lower half of the strike zone. 1-2 count. Esteban is hot right now. If I wasn't a disparatic team, I would not want to hit right now. Really freezing their bats today. Inside breaking ball there. Little change up that just fell out of the strike zone. Didn't get him to swing. 2-2 two -two count here. Again, we got one out. Runner on first base. Ground ball to Dorian Gonzalez. Throws the second, Sparky the first. Seemed like the runner got in the way of Sparky there. Little runner interference. Not gonna go, the kid slid with his cleats eye up in the air. But it's gonna be out number two with one man on first. As Esteban continues to work. Gonna be a swing and a miss for strike number one. One two count. Oh one count here. Strike number two. Esteban doing it all on the mound today. Another swing and a miss there. Really staying on top of this count. Now Esteban is completely ahead of the count. Gonna mix up his pitches, try to get this guy to sit down. So let's see what he can do here. Ground ball to Sparky. He makes a stop, making sure that the batter does not advance any safe any, anymore. Does a great job at making that stop. Not quite able to get the out, but really put his body out there. Looked like that ball hit him in the shoulder. Wasn't much of a hit there. Soft ground ball to the right side, but it looked like Sparky was actually holding the runner on, playing in the hole, so he wasn't able to make that play. So now man first on, um, man on first and second. The two outs on the board. Deal situation here would be a ground ball to third. Get it out quickly. Let's see if now, Esteban can keep the play at the plate. Now we see the third baseman for Braddock. He's actually their fourth, their cleanup hitter. Swing and a miss there from the third baseman. 0-1 oh, count. Little off speed there, gets him, gets him out in front. Swings right through that pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt, 1-1 one, one count. Got to run on first and second here with two outs. One, one count. It's that one keeping his composure. Is that boss gonna Little be flare to right up? field. Right in the glove of Mr. Ryan Cainzos. And we are out of the inning. inning. Just like that. What Piece a great of cake. job by Esteban Rodriguez there. Got his fourth strike out of the game. That's what uh, us baseball players call a can of corn to Mr. Ryan Cainzos. 
we'll see you now as the Wolverines come up to the plate. So now at the play, we have Stefan Rodriguez, the star on the mound. That ball misses the high there. Stefan gets ahead in the count there, 1-0. Let's see if Stefan can help himself out here. Doing amazing on the mound. Great hitter. Let's see if he can get some going here. Yeah, I'm sure off. this pitcher is under a lot of stress right now. Hard ground ball to the shortstop. That's mishandled, and Stefan Rodriguez is going to be safe at first base. Seems like everyone in this infield is on their heads right now. We're gonna see Jackson Pedro coming up to a plate now with no outs on the board here in the bottom of the fifth. Looks like the shortstop's hurting. Might have took on that ball to the gut. Jackson Pedro coming up to a plate now. No odds on the board. Let off the game with a triple to right field. Matt. We're going to see a pickup attempt. And we have Matt Juan best pinch running here. And I was just about to say, whenever we see those pickup attempts coming, it means that the pitcher's not comfortable pitching. He's way over his head. He's trying to get the outs in another way possible. Breaking ball misses low there for ball number one. And we see just that there as the pitcher had to make the pick of a 10. We're going to see our ball come in. Wolverine's in a great spot right now. Jackson Pedro coming off his triple. Another ball there outside. I think it's really funny because uh, Esteban's really in command of his off-speed pitch. And it looks like this pitcher is trying to imitate him and is not being very successful in doing so. So let's see uh, what Jack could do here at the plate with two balls. Hitters count here. Strike one. So 2-1 two, count here. Jack's still on top of the batter. I mean, on top of the pitcher. Ball misses low. 3-1 count here. Jack in a great spot to keep this inning going. Second strike of the at-bat there. Looked like the same pitch, but it might have been a little bit higher. So now we got a 3-2 count with Jack. Let's see if he can put the ball in play and get something going. Matthew Wembez is the runner at first base, running for Esteban Rodriguez. 
Jackson Slayer Pepper's to right field. Hit that one into shallow right. Right fielder tried throwing uh, Wembez out at first base, even though it looked like there was no play. Threw it under the first baseman, but luckily for Braddock, the catcher was backing up the throw. So one out on the board here. Right fielder, number six. That's Ryan Cain, so he's coming up to a play to bat now. The end of the lineup, and then we're gonna see Andy Gutierrez right after him. Let's see if Frank Gainsel gets him going here. He's been putting a lot of balls in play, which is always a good sign, and hopefully he gets him going here. Yeah, the Warrens can uh, gain a comfortable lead here and going into the sixth inning, they'll put a lot of pressure off Esteban. If he's able to come out to a man again. Bunt here, right great, back to the pitcher. Bunt. Does the job. Oof, very close play at first base, but Ryan Caiz unfortunately, right. Great job at sliding into first, but it's gonna, it's not gonna get there quite on time. But there's a great job by pushing that one into the second base and scoring position as Andy Gutierrez is gonna come up to the plate. Ball one there, and Matthew Wembs is able to advance on the pass ball by the pitcher. Now we got to run it on third here with two outs and a ball for Andy Gutierrez. So Matthew Wembs in scoring position here with Andy Gutierrez up at the plate. Let's see how Andy Gutierrez is able to put the ball in play here to keep the inning going and bring Matt Wembs in. Again, a 1 0 game here with two outs on the board. In the bottom of the fifth, First we're gonna see there. a strike there. One one count. Seemed like he threw that one side on. Yeah, and such so, even though we are ahead in the game, we do need insurance runs. We need to bring more runs in, get us a little more comfortable so we can secure the victory. Yeah, and important to remember here, there's a lot of baseball left. Andy shows bunt there, but it was a ball outside. Two one count. Catcher was running after Matthew Wemba. Not sure what it, the idea was there. Yeah, it seemed to be on his toes there. Another bunt. The catcher keeping his eyes on Wemba. Seems to be all over the place as well as a pitcher. 3 1 count with two outs on the board. That's something as a pitcher that you never want to see. The, the, the batter throw, showing bunt and him not able to throw a uh, strike across the plate is a very bad sign. Let's see what he does now with the three one count. Nope. Ball out, ball misses outside. And They're gonna walk Andy Gutierrez, the gazelle. So we're gonna have runners in the corners. This is a great spot to be in, especially when we're able to see Belen force a pickle here and bring in a runner on the sacrifice to steal. There's a lot of options. We do have one of our hottest hitters coming to play now, Lou Degotti. I'm very confident that he can get a, un, himself another hit. And if he's able to do just that, we'll be in a great position here in this game going into the sixth inning. Another thing I want to highlight, bo both runs, or two out of the three runs that we saw Andy score last game, he did so running from first base, which is a really impressive thing to see. And we know that he has the ability and the base running IQ to do that from first base. He has his speed, and he can get a great hop right off the bat. Without a doubt, Andy Gutierrez is a phenomenal base runner, and he was able to make good reads off the bat and score. Now we got two outs, so there's not, not much for Andy to do but run. So Lou Degotti coming up to the plate now. Two outs on the board. Got runners on first and third here. Umpire calls time. Hey, 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 hey. 
Hard hit ball, oh. unfortunately right in the glove of the shortstop. Balls into the hands of the shortstop. Unlucky ball there, but not before. I mean, excuse me, the Wolverines will now go up to the mound. Sam Rodriguez will stay on the mound. He's had a dominating outing so far. Heading into the top of the sixth inning. We'll see how the Wolverines are able to adjust here. Step on back on the mound here to con so he can continue to work. And a big swing and a miss there for strike number one. We're going to see another swing and a miss here, another first base strike for Esteban. The dominant streak continues, still throwing just as hard. Another strike there. Starts him off 0-2. One thing that I love as a fielder and and just, just by watching Esteban, I love how fast he works. He does not give any time for that pitcher to, I mean, for the, for the hitter to think or to reset. He works at his own pace, and I love the way he works. It's amazing. He's doing a great job out here today. His tempo is on point. Hasn't stopped, like you mentioned earlier today. You see a batter there asking for some time. Ground ball to Jack. Hit hard. Jack does a great job at adjusting Takes it himself there. and he's out number one of the inning. So Stephen doing a great job. Only four pitchers on that at bat. I'm sure he's nearing the end of his pitch count. Down batter, left fielder, number eight, Daniel Burns. Now we're going to see the sixth batter here. He's the left fielder. Big swing and a miss. Oh, Common the theme for, for Esteban here, blowing it by them for the first pitch. Just misses high. 1-1 one, one count. Another strike there for Esteban. He is bringing the heat. 1-2 count. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to bring him a charcuterie board if he loves so much <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Doing a great job right now. Doesn't get him to go on that breaking ball in the dirt. 2-2 two, two count. <laughs> Foul to out of play on the right side of the field. It could be like his composure is, is so impressive to me. It could be like the whole world's watching, and for him, it's just playing catch with his catchers. It's he really so does not have a care in the world. Ground ball to Lou DeGodi. Going to show off the arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Jack is going to drop the ball at first base. Made a great throw there, and Jack is not able to keep, keep the ball in his hands. However, we see that ground ball again. One out here. 
I'm not sure what happened there with Jack. Seems like they're gonna bring Esteban off here. He really wanted to finish that one off, but he understands that he's getting towards the end of his pitch count. And with a man on first, they can't risk it. They're gonna bring Andy Bale, who has also been super dominant for the Wolverines. And several Rodriguez, the search a curtain call here, really dominated the whole game. He's gonna get the standing ovation from the stadium and his teammates. And we're gonna bring in Andy Bale, which for Braddock can be very, very dangerous because it's a total change of, of, of pitcher, you know? You have uh, Esteban throwing heat out there, and then you're gonna bring in Andy Bale with that breaking ball that's just gonna make batters look silly. That 12 to 6 curveball and that slider is just brutal for all these batters. And I don't think they're gonna be able to handle the switch here. And don't get me wrong, you know, Bello does have some speed behind his ball, but his his the key the key to his pitching is the way he hits his spots and like like Sachi just says, his command of his breaking ball. He makes people look silly, he could throw for strikes, he could throw it in the dirt to make you swing, and then next thing you know, he blows his fast by by you. Looks like a hundred after those breaking balls. And and really like I love how you mentioned that his fastball still has speed. Because something that's really impressive, usually you see breaking ball pitchers, they don't trust their fastball too much, but you don't see that with Bale. He's a very experienced player, and he's going to trust his fastball, and that's what's going to be able to bring in the, the strikeouts here when they most matter. So I'll see you guys after a break. So Andy Bayo at the mound now, getting ready for his first pitch. Excited to see how the batters react to this. First pitch strike there for Andy. Wow. We're not gonna see a change change of momentum here with that first pitch. Just picking up right where Stevan left off. Oh, one count with one out on the board here. Man on first base. Swings right through that changeup to get him behind the count. 0-2. Oh, Swing and a miss there. Little pick off there at first base. 0-2 oh, count. Just misses on the top half of the strike zone there. One, two, count. <laughs> Looked like that might have missed a little bit outside on that curve ball. Got a two, two count here, one out, run on first base. Strike three. Swing and a miss. That's strikeout number five for the Wolverines. Strikeout number one for Andy. And the momentum is going to stay on the Wolverine side with a man on first base and two outs here. Nice change up there by Andy Bello. Got him to swing once again. Now we're gonna see the shortstop for Braddock hitting here. He is their eighth batter. Hasn't done much in the day. Strike one there. 
Beautiful curveball lane falls in for strike number one of the yeah, bat. 0-1 count with two outs on the board. The Wolverines still holding the lead. And a strong showing by the pitchers here today. We're just starting to see it from Bale, but already got. Looks like that changeup misses low. One strikeout on his first batter faced. Pretty comfortable position here for Bello. Got a runner on first base. Ground ball in the infield makes it easy out at second base. Or now in first base, you've got two options. Swing and a miss there. Bale comfortable on the mound. One, two count. With two outs on the board. Seemed like that just missed the top half of the strike zone. Two's across the board. With the man on first. Yeah. Swing and a miss on the curveball. Andy Bayo is fired up around. as he should be. Face two batters, strikes out two. The Wolverines will keep the momentum going as we head to the bottom of the six. Everyone's electric right now, did a great job, had command of every single at bat. That's six strikeouts on the day for the Wolverines. This Braddock team did not know what they signed up for. And we're gonna see the Wolverines come back to a plate now. So Giovanni Puerto coming up to the plate now. All the momentum in the world on the Wolverine side. Let's see if we can keep this lead going, maybe stretch it a little bit to head into the top of the seventh with a comfortable lead. Ball one there, curveball misses low. Go on outside. Seems like Braddock has decided to keep their pitcher in. Let's see a strike there, 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, Gio decided to lay off on that one. Hard hit ball to left field. Looks like it's gonna be oh, over the, the left fielder's head, hits the wall. And it's gonna be a long, long, long base hit for Giovanni Cueto. Ball was hit hard, like you said. The bats are hard, the momentum's on our side, and it's gonna lead to the bats even getting even more hot. So, Dorian Gonzalez coming up to the plate now. This Wolverine team is fired up right now. Gio decided to run for himself there at first base. Probably too excited to go sit back down. No, oh, and I, 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 I mean, he's a catcher. He knows how to base run. He knows how to throw runners out, so that means he knows how to keep himself safe. No outs on the board. Going inside, he's prepared to see a pitch come in. Fastball falls in there for a strike.
for one count here. Big swing by Dorian, fouled back. Gonna fall behind the count, 0-2. Not too worried about that. Dorian is a great hitter with two strikes. He's gonna have to protect the plate and anything he hits is gonna be hard. Looked like a two seam that missed outside. You don't have anything. Coach Montana asked for a pitch count. Sadly, we don't have one. Look like a breaking mentioned. ball, fouled back. Dorian Gonzalez does a great job on having two strikes. He's protecting the plate there. The reason why Montaigne actually asked, sorry, Coach Montaigne asked for a pitch count there is because this guy's been going all game. He's throwing a lot of pitches. And uh, his time is coming. Breaking ball in the dirt, misses. Giovanni takes off and is going to slide in safely. Beautiful read there by Giovanni. That's exactly what I was talking about. He saw that ball down in the dirt, took a bounce off of the catcher, and he, he took advantage of that base. Yeah, in great position. So now we have a runner on second base with a 2-2 count, no outs, and Dorian Gonzalez up to the plate. So Gio Cueta not uh, come to a position, doesn't necessarily have to run. Wolverine's dugout is super loud right now. Excited. Roman Dawes is the hard ground ball, base hit. Gio Cueta's gonna Gio do. do. Gonna wait for the throw, strong throw by the outfielder, blocked by the catcher. Does the job, that's two straight hits for the Wolverines. So the Wolverines with runners in the corners. Great position to be in. The bats are hot now for the Wolverines, and I feel like the momentum will continue. Nick Alonso coming up to the plate. Somehow this Braddock team is gonna keep the pitcher in so far from what we're seeing. Dorian Gonzalez did a great job there with two strikes, staying back and driving that, that curveball. It looked like an inside curveball. He pulled it and hit it hard, and that's all you gotta do, right? So we're here in the bottom of the six. No outs on the board, a two zero with another batter coming up to the plate. Nick Alonso, men on the corners. Still got nobody out here. This position is one that the Wolverines excel a lot in when you have a runner on first and third. Seems like we're always able to make sure. Oh, big swing and a miss there for Nick Alonso. Wants to stay, stay disciplined at this at bat. Wants to keep the inning going. Looked like a curveball there that missed in the dirt. When he does make contact, Nick's bat is pretty efficient, usually making contact to either the left or right field side. Always good for base hits. It's gonna be a two one count. Miss on the outer half of the plate. Very good eye there by Nick Alonso. Again, really wants to stay disciplined throughout this at bat. Nice sack fly ball would be nice right now. Ball misses low in the dirt. Nick Alonso doesn't have to do much. He's got the infield in. They're trying to hold Gio from scoring. So anything hit hard here. To the, whether it's the outfield or a line drive, hard ground ball in the infield might do the job. 
So 3-1 count here. Gonna fall in there for a strike. I'm actually wondering why uh, why Dorian hasn't stole second yet. We got infield in. I think he's got a pretty good chance of taking that base. So, although we have not seen the catcher's arm throughout this game, so it makes sense that he doesn't want to take any chances. Yeah, and more than anything, I think um, Nick Alonso is in a tough at bat. So Payoff like, pitch. Looks like a curveball that falls into the strike zone. Throws Nick Alonso. Tough call there. We're going to see Andrew Nemesaris coming up to the plate, who also has a pretty strong bat. The momentum is in the Wolverines' hands. And there's a time to strike. It's right now. Now we got Andrew Lamazares coming up to the plate. He has been very hot in his last few games, hitting the ball hard. I'm sure he will continue to. See if he can pick out a pitch and drive one up here. We're gonna see a bunt that was laid down beautifully, but just falls towards the foul side. Although that was a beautiful um, bunt, that's not really the objective. Andrew needs to try to put a hard bunt past the pitcher so that Jill, Jill could score safely and easily. I, I like what we see there though because we saw both the pitcher and, and the, the catcher, catcher chase after the ball. So Dorian's gonna take Second base. Seems like the second baseman and Dorian exchanged, or the shortstop, excuse me, and Dorian exchanged a few words there. Oh yeah, Dorian was was in extremely safely, and and the shortstop decided to still put on a tag, and a pretty hard tag at that. And uh, Dorian didn't seem to like it very much. Oh one count here. Andrew Lemazar is going to take a big swing. That's going to be fouled off for an 0-2 count with one out on the board. Man on the man on second and third now. And the Wolverines in great position here. Andrew has seen all of the, the pitcher's pitches, so he's pretty comfortable. As long as he doesn't chase, I'm sure he could put something in play pretty hard. Oh, big swing and a miss there for Andrew. Tough spot. So now two outs on the board. So we're in a run or run situation here now. Number 21, Andres So Andy Bayo coming up to hit now. As we know, Asam Rodriguez was hitting, and the designated hitter is hitting for Adrian Carvajal is Sparky. So that means that now that Andy Bale's in the game, he's gonna have to hit. Believe it or not, I actually have a lot of confidence in, in Andy Bale's abilities. In the summer, he actually hit two home runs. Swings to another curveball there. Oh, two count. Unfortunately though, he has not seen very much pitching uh, this year and this past fall. So hopefully he could, he could do something here. Good eye there by Andy. One, two count. Yeah, Andy's gonna wanna protect the play here. Let's see how he does. It's gonna be interesting to see.
So a strikeout there. The Braddock dugout celebrating like they won the game, but I don't know who's gonna tell them that they're still down on this one. So now, we're gonna see Andy Dale go from the plate to the mound. Here at the top of the seven. Yeah, I really don't know what, what uh, all the hype's about. They're still losing. Where the Wolverines could very well end it. And uh, Andy Bello is still gonna finish this game up. See what's gonna happen here. The bottom of the seventh. So we got the, the last batter up here for Braddock Bulldogs. The crowd is absolutely electric. Bale misses a breaking ball there low. 1-0 count here at the top of the seven. There's a big swing and a miss there. For strike number one, 1-1 one, one count. Another big swing and a miss. Buckling the batter's knees. One, two count here. One, two count. Bale staring the batter down. And the ground ball here to Lou. Gets up, fires to first. Not in time. So Great diving player there by Lou. Unfortunately, that runner did have some speed and beat out the throw. So runner's gonna be safe at first base here at the top of the seven. Now we got the leadoff hitting here, who actually has done nothing all day. That ball in the dirt. Gio Coach is gonna keep his eye on the runner. Got a bunch of defense going here. Got to trying to move the one over to second in scoring position. He's, shows bunt. Lays one down to first base. Gio Cueto makes a phenomenal play out on his front foot, barehanded. I don't even know how he did that because that was a beautiful bunt. But of course, we have the Wake Forest commit down behind the plate. Super athletic. 
love, love to see that because very impressive. So the runner's gonna get to second base safely. But like you mentioned now before, we got that phenomenal out, out of the way. So they're now one out on the board. The infielders are gonna talk to their pitcher. Now, although this is a 1-0 ball game, there's not very much pressure laying on Bellow's back. The runner's still on second base. There's one out, and he has been dominating um, all the time that he's been sh that he's been pitching. It seems like the bits, it's more about talking to the infield, letting them know what could come. Probably Coach Harper going through situations to, to them, telling them what to expect. Let's see how the Wolverines try to finish this inning off. The Braddock runner trying to get to third base. We are going to try to prevent him from doing so and hopefully get an out in the process. Uh oh count here with one out. Andy Bello on the pitch. Big swing and a miss for strike number one. Sorry, that was fouled buck. 0-1 count. That Ground ball off the middle. Dorian makes it look easy for out number two. Unfortunately, though, the runner did move over to third base. Yeah, that that body that that throw would have been too hard for Dorian to make as he would have had to switch sides, turn around, and make the throw. But he does the right thing, making the safe throw to first base for out number two. Yeah, and there was again, absolutely no play there at third base for Dorian. Thank God he kept his composure and made a good throw to first base. Now all we need from this infield is to knock everything down and the outfielders to track the balls down like they should. So we're here, top of the seven, two outs on the board. Andy Bayo on the mound. Umpire calls time here to clean the plate. Coach Albert telling Sparky Carver Hollis to play deep in the hole, prevent anything from getting through. As long as Sparky knocks something down, it doesn't look like this runner is very fast. We should have a play at first base. Oh, good pitch, strike one. Strike one, 0 1 count, Bale it's out of half of the plate. Andy Bello continuing to stay in control. This game coming down to the wire. Two outs on the board, top of the seven. 0 1 count. Yes, sir! Oof. Oh, tough call at the plate. The umpire's not going to call that one a strike. Unfortunately, it looked like the umpire did not like that pitch, even though I loved it. Andy Bello with a great miss there, continuing to work. 1-1 one, one count, two outs on the board. Andy Bale keeping the momentum going, staying on tempo. That pitch inside. Another great and, pitch by Andy Bello. And it's not going to be called a strike. Two one count. I really hope this isn't affecting Andy. He seems to be fine, keeping the tempo. Yes, sir. Oh, miss. Two two count. Makes him look silly there. Completely out on his front leg. The third base coach making weird signals to the to the hitter. I'm not sure what he was trying to trying to tell him there. Yeah, that's just a great pitch. Two two count. Two's across the board here. Top of the seven. Andy Wolverines Bello on the, the pitch. Lead. Ooh, that one too low, trying to get him to swing there. Andy Bale doing a great job on the mound so far. Full count now. Full count, two outs in the bottom of the seventh here. On top of the seventh, excuse me. And the payoff pitch. Mrs. Lowe. So now, runners in the corners with the cleanup batter coming up to the plate. Yep. The fans are on their feet. 
two outs on the board in the top of the seventh. Gio Cuota is going to talk to his pitcher. Unfortunately there, Andy Bello did not get the call on two really close pitches. Probably would have ended this game up. But he's going to continue to work. If, uh, if he has to make this batter put the ball in play, he's going to do so. Yeah, those were, those were definitely strikes. I, there's no other way to put it. Those, those were strikes. But sometimes calls don't go our way. Um, they were close enough to call balls, I will tell you that. So uh, we're going to continue to fight here, and Andy Bella's going to continue to work. So now facing the cleanup lefty. See how Andy Bell. Two outs here, man, on first and third. Keeps the momentum going. The pitch. Pick up attempt. Ooh. Makes it a close one. Very close play there at first. Big swing and a miss. Looked like a change up on the outer half of the plate. Got him to go there. Staying on top of the batter. Here's J. Mel Estrada, back from his concussion injury. Pick off, no good. Another pick up attempt. That Fly ball, ball to Hammer. Andy Gutierrez. And he's there to make yeah, the play. The Wolverines the win. The Wolverines win. To and end the losing streak and game. beat the number one team in Dade County. He Unbelievable by Andy Gutierrez and Esteban Rodriguez. They're going to win the game. The, game the Wolverines the end their losing streak. And end the, the Braddock Bulldogs winning streak. Phenomenal game by the Wolverines. Andy Gutierrez with the recording, the winning out. And the game is over. The Wolverines win, ending the losing streak against the number one team in Dade. And the team is back, just like that. We'll see you guys next week as the Wolverines head out to a big tournament. The cops, act, the cops are actually on the field holding the, the Braddock Bulldogs back. The, the Bulldogs have a reputation of being very rowdy in a Bush League team. So uh, I'm guessing that's why the, 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 uh, the cops are here. They're guiding the officials out. I'm going to go join my team. Thanks for having me. Uh, we'll see you next time.